Hello guys, Brave Shadow here, and you are watching The Shadow Source. So, today we're going to be talking about the Xbox One. But as a disclaimer, before I continue, I would like to say that um, my opinions on the Xbox One will change uh, if Microsoft decides to do the right things for us gamers. So, continuing on. The Xbox One is a game console, as most would like to believe, simply because it plays games. And it's the next generation of a gaming console called the Xbox 360. Well, not so much anymore. With the flood of NFL Sunday Ticket, HBO, and various other entertainment applications, the ability to hook up your Xbox and your uh, cable box together is becoming more of an entertainment system and not a gaming one. They have more entertainment features than gaming ones. When you target audience is supposed to be gamers and you make your console for household families, because targeting families is more profitable because there are more families than gamers. So Microsoft uses the gaming front as a Trojan horse to obtain buyers and then infiltrate homes just to show a bombardment of entertainment features so non-gamers will purchase an Xbox for those entertainment features. So, slowly entering a stage where games and their quality are secondary priority instead of a first priority. It's smart, but manipulative. Now, most will argue and justify that this is a model of business. But as for myself, I don't like it. And most people don't care about this. And those people fall right in place with their plan. I am worried slightly that people will think that a gaming console should be a place where you have the ability to watch cable TV. And if it's not included in said console, it's viewed as inferior. Now, how does the ind game industry grow when you have people watching TV over gaming? Microsoft doesn't care about that because they don't invest enough into video games as it is. They just buy out third-party studios and get exclusive content and use it as justification for buying an Xbox. Um, example, Call of Duty. Instead of seeing how diluted and repetitive Call of Duty is, they only see the money. Instead of trying to add a new exclusive Xbox shooter to compete and help the industry grow and evolve, they don't look for improvement in gaming, just the money. Now, most would say, hey, you know, Titanfall, but Titanfall is not purely exclusive um, for the Xbox One. That is only the first one. As the series itself, uh, it will be multi-platform. So, continuing on, they only get DLC two, three weeks, four weeks, months earlier uh, by shelling out more money when all that money could be used to creating more games, more exclusives for the Xbox One. But knowing people don't think about it and just follow, people tend to be repetitive and follow the same routine as well. That's why I don't pick up Call of Duty Ghosts. I didn't see the value that others may have seen. There wasn't anything in that game that was actually game changing. But at the end of the day, I want games and I want the quality, story, and graphics and gameplay to increase. I want gaming consoles that can deliver that experience in a comfortable way and make sure that it is the primary focus instead of putting it on the back burner for some mediocre cable television. If you're a gamer like me, you'll feel the same, and that's why I rest firmly with Sony until I see Microsoft make the necessary changes. You hear that, Microsoft? I got 500 bucks, and I'm not giving it until I see worth in your native 720p cloud Betamax box of cable wonders. $500 is too much for a console that does what I already have, a PS4 that plays games and a cable box to watch TV. So this has been uh, a little rant of mine, my opinion. Um, like I said in the beginning, if Microsoft changes this in the future, then I will be more than happy to buy an Xbox One. But honestly, if you are a gamer and you care more about video games over your entertainment apps, um, then I would purchase a PlayStation 4. Now, this is not to say that the PlayStation 4 is lacking in apps. You have all the necessary ones that you'll need. Hulu, Amazon Prime, Netflix, etc., etc. So... Thank you guys for watching this video. Please comment, like, and if you feel that my material is up to your standards, please subscribe. Thank you very much for watching this video. Shadow out, and as always, game on. And please enjoy the rest of the video.
completion imminent. <laughs> 